Welcome to topic 12.6, motion of projectile. Uh, motion of projectile is basically a study of a free flight motion and often studied in terms of its rectangular components. In order to illustrate the kinematic analysis, we consider a projectile launch at point X0 and Y0 with initial velocity of V0. This initial velocity V0 is having the components of V0x and also V0y. And in this case, um, we consider that the air resistance to be neglected. Therefore, the only force acting on a projectile of a particle is the weight downwards. This caused the projectile to have only constant downward force acceleration which is approximately AC or G equals to 9.81 meter per second per second and when we study motion of projectile we separate into two motion which is horizontal motion and vertical motion in horizontal motion study of a projectile we know that the acceleration for horizontal motion are equals to zero so therefore Using the kinematic equation, when A equals to 0, we only have Vx and the current Vx equals to the initial Vx. The second equation, we know that the acceleration equals to 0. Therefore, the current position equals the initial position plus the initial velocity times the current time. Another study for the velocity can be approximated using the position as well. Current velocity squared equals to the initial velocity squared. And this is going to be 0. So we have the current velocity at x direction equals to the initial velocity at x direction. Therefore, the horizontal component of velocity remains constant during the motion. For the vertical motion, positive axis is upward. Therefore, the gravitational forces will get a negative symbol. So the first equation for the velocity is uh, Vy, the current velocity for y, equals to the initial velocity in y direction minus gravitational acceleration times time taken at the moment. And then uh, the current position equals to the initial position plus the initial velocity times time minus half gravitational acceleration times t also the current position the current velocity okay in y direction can be measured by the initial velocity uh, of y axis minus 2 times the gravitational acceleration times current position minus the initial position in terms of analysis, please remember that you need to first establish the fixed x, y, and z axis. Secondly, since you have the axis already, you need to sketch the trajectory of the particle. Specify the unknowns and the data between any two points on the path. Remember the acceleration of gravity always acting downwards. And then express the particle initial and final velocity in the x, y components. And be careful with the positive and negative positions. Velocity and acceleration components always act in accordance with their associated coordinate directions. Let's look at example 12.12. .12. In this example, the chipping machine is designed to eject wood at chips V0, the initial velocity, equals to 7.5 meter per second. If the tube is oriented at 30 degrees from the horizontal, determine how high H the chips strike the pile if they land on the pile 6 meters from the tube. So when we sketch this problem, what we are going to get is basically the vertical direction and the horizontal direction. This is vertical direction Y. This is horizontal direction X. And this is the origin. And this is the initial velocity V0 equals to 7.5 meter per second and then this is the motion of projectile this is point A where the object landed 
and this is the height of the pile h other information that we have is that this the horizontal distance between origin to the pile is 6 meters and also the height of the pile is equals to the height between origin to the base of the pile is 2.1 meters first we need to decouple the velocity into its, its components so v0 in x direction equals to 7.5 take note that the angle has, has been given as 30 degrees so 7.5 cos 30 30 degrees so the x component of the velocity is 6.5 meter per second the y component of the v0 is 7.5 sine 30 degrees so we have 3.75 meter per second remember in the notes earlier that the velocity at a so va for the x component equals to the origin velocity so v0 x and this equals to 6.5 meter per second and what are the information that we have we know that the acceleration the constant acceleration equals to minus 9.81 meter per second per second now we need to calculate the time taken from the origin to the top of the pile at point a for the horizontal motion the distance uh, of a or we call it x a equals to x naught plus the origin velocity x direction and the time taken from origin to point a so when we put all those values that we have we have x a which is six meters and then the origin is going to be zero then we have the origin velocity for the horizontal motion equals to 6.5 meter per second and this is our unknown which is time taken from origin to point a so when we solve for this we are going to get origin to a equals to 0 0.9 231 seconds for the vertical motion analysis we can use the time taken from 0 to a and put in to the equation uh, the kinematic equation we have ya equals to y origin plus velocity of the origin uh, with, with respect to horizontal motion time taken from 0 to a plus half acceleration at y direction times t squared origin to a so just plug in all this value and we want to know uh, the ya ya is basically 2.1 meters ya is basically h minus 2.1 so that determine the height uh, of the pile that we try to determine so the height of the pile that we try to determine is h minus 2.1 equals to um, y origin equals to zero and then we have the y component of the velocity this equals to 3.75 and then we have time from 0 to a which is 0 0.9 2, 3, 1, plus half minus 9.81 times uh, this is times time taken from 0 to a which is 0 0.9231 square once we finish with this we're going to get the h h equals to 1.38 meters so this is the height of the pile that we are looking for